Um, okay, in one of your campaigns, I have 100, in one of my campaigns, I have 190 keywords of which are 90% are eligible with max CPC bit above estimate first page, but with only a seven impression, but with only seven impressions over the last 60 days. What can I do to try to get more impressions for these keywords? Um, well, that's a good question. I mean, again, without look, knowing what the keywords are in the exact, um, you know, circumstance, it's kind of hard to tell. But if you have, let's say, 90% CPC above first page bid. Yeah, so, Paul, what I've had, when I've had ads that don't serve correctly, that like they're just not getting served properly, even with my bid score and everything saying that I should be high enough, is increase your cost per click bid max even more. Sometimes, I mean, go go high with it. Google's not like if you put like I don't know what I don't know what range you're working in, but let's just say that your max cost per click right now is set to ten dollars. Okay, uh, set it to fifteen. That's a fifty percent increase. It's it's not like Google is going to spend that fifteen dollar click. Um, but if you if you go way high on your CPC max your max CPC bid, then a lot of times that will earn you a spot in the um you know it will improve your quality score and it will get start getting impressions and then what you want to do is once you get bumped up to like the top of the page where you'll start getting more clicks then you start backing it down you start backing that max cost per click down in fact if you get a few clicks you can look at what your average cost per click is and you can just keep your max cpc bid just slightly above that okay now remember your quality score is going to factor into all of that as well because there might be other advertisers that have a higher quality score that are paying less per click than you are because they have a higher quality score. And remember the number one factor for increasing quality score is your click through rate. And so that again, having your ad in the proper position is going to also increase the click through rate. So it's the ad copy itself, but also positioning the placement of the ad itself, right? Because if you got an ad at the bottom of the page and nobody ever clicks on it, you it's getting impressions because that page is loading, but you're not getting clicks because it's at the bottom of the page. That's going to lower your quality score because your click through rate goes down. So my point is sometimes you can have really compelling an awesome ad copy, but it's still not getting click through rates because or any click throughs because it's not placed where people are seeing it. So you need to increase your CPC bid to get it to go above everybody else until you start getting clicks. Then once you start getting clicks, you can start backing that max CPC down and keep split testing your ad copy until you get the highest click through rate you can possibly get. And that should level out to where it would keep your um, quality score high and you'll still get click throughs, if that makes sense. So sometimes you have to spend some, you have to, you have to break some eggs to make an omelet. Does that make sense? So for me with AdWords, I know right up front that the first 30 days of an AdWords campaign, I'm going to lose money. I mean, it's almost guaranteed. I mean, some of the local lead gen stuff that uh, like the ones that I'm familiar with, I can make a campaign profitable in 30 days. But for the most part, or if it's a new industry that I'm not familiar with or new set of keywords or whatever, then a lot of the times I, re I realize going in that about the first 30 days, I'm probably going to lose money. But within the next 30 days, I should start to break even and possibly even become a little profitable. Within 90 days, I should be have a, 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 a solid profitable campaign that I can run pretty much indefinitely with little maintenance, if that makes sense. Anybody want to comment on that? Hmm, uh, no, I think I think Bradley, you nailed it. Like every AdWords campaign is so uh, unique mm -hmm. that you, you really need to dive into it because uh, it, it will it will definitely, I would say that the, the way it's set up and the competition and uh, you know, the way your, your landing page is set up will definitely uh, affect the the way it's performing, right? Yeah. So yeah, I, I would say that you nailed it without having that much, uh, how I put it, that that much background, if you would, you know? Yeah, because the click through rate. Is, I mean, remember, guys, your 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 landing page really only needs a couple of elements uh, for it to pass the the quality score test or whatever, um, where it says, you know, like the, there's three parts to the quality score: the landing page, uh, the ad relevancy, and then the um, What's the other one? I can't think of it off the top of my head. But my point is the landing page experience is what they call that. Landing page experience, it, it really doesn't matter. I've experimented with trying to add copy, you know, adding more copy to a page and all these different kinds of things to try to get them to uh, to manipulate that landing page experience score. 
And honestly, it, 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 I've never been able to like find any direct pattern with like more copy makes it higher and all that kind of stuff. Typically, if just if you have certain elements on the landing page, that's all that's going to require. But that's not something that will affect your click through rate. Does that make sense? That will only affect your conversion rate. So it's not something that I worry about until I I start worrying about conversion optimization after I've optimized my ad campaigns so that I know that I'm getting clicks. If I know that I'm getting clicks to the landing page and they're not converting, well, for, the first problem is always getting the clicks, right? So that's why I always focus on ad copy and getting the click-through rate up um, first. And then, you know, I'll just start off with one landing page, guys. And once I get an, to where it's uh, the, the click-throughs, to, you know, the clicks or click through rate to where it's an acceptable level for me, then I'll go start working on optimizing the landing page. So anyways, uh, Paul, you're, you're, I know you, you keep out. It's, it's awesome. Cause you keep pursuing this AdWords stuff. You may end up training us or me at some point about uh, using bid simulator and that kind of stuff. Cause it sounds like you're even getting in a little bit further than I have. So let us know how you're doing with it.